So S0 is my initial state. And in this initial state, I need to receive a what bit to progress further or start my sequence detection. That is, that for that, you have to look at your sequence. See, your sequence is 0, 1, 1 and 1, right? So, you need to, uh, to receive a 0 to start your sequence detection, right? Otherwise, you will have to stay, uh, stay at your initial state itself because you are not receiving a 0 means you cannot start or you cannot progress. So, if you are receiving a 1 in the state, then you are at your initial state itself. So, this is your initial state. You are at your initial state itself if you are receiving a 1, okay? And uh, if this state, your output is also 0, right? So, if it is a more type of FSM, then each state is having a output. So, a 0 state is associated with an output of 0. And if you are receiving a 1 at this state, you are at the uh, initial state itself. But if you receive a 0, you can move further. Okay. So, then you will be, that is if you are receiving a 0, then you will move further to the next state. That is your S1 state. Okay, in the S1 state also, your output is again 0 because you have not received your entire sequence. So, this is your S1 state. Now, first we will uh, draw the all needed state or all positive uh, cases. That is, we will try to complete this sequence once. Then, in S1 state, if you receive a 1 means then you have a 0, 1 which is a part of your sequence. That is, you can move further. Or you can move forward. So if you receive a 1, then you are at which state? You are at the state S2 and here again your output is 0. So that is a third state. Now when you are at S2 and you receive a 1, again you are at which state? S3 state but your output is again 0 because you have not received your state or your sequence entirely. So we have now completed 1, 2, 3, 4 states. There is one more state in which you are receiving a 1 and then you are at state S4 and in this state, that is in the S4 state, you have received your 0, 1, 1 and 1 entirely. That is this entire sequence you have received. Then your output is 1, right? So in S4 state, your output is 1. So, we have completed the sequence detection once. Now, there are uh, certain left out cases, right? So, we have to complete it. Before that, we need to uh, check at each state what is the sequence we have in our hat. So, in this S1 state, what is the sequence? It is a 0, right? Only a 0 is there. Now, in the S2 state, you have a 0 and a 1. So, it is a 0, 1. Okay. Now, in the S3 state, you have a 0, 1 and 1. Right, so this part of your sequence is you is having in the state S3. Now in the state S4, you have your sequence entirely that is 0, 1, 1 and 1. Okay, now let us try to complete all the, all the left out cases. That is in state S1, the, both the states for, uh, both the cases for this S0 is complete, right? So for the uh, state S1, you have taken the case when receiving a 1. That is, you have a progress. But what will happen if you receive a 0 in this S1? Because your state uh, S0, S1 is receiving a 0. Again, if you are at S1 and you receive a 0 means there is no change, right? That is, in your sequence, there is only one zero is relevant. So, if you are at S1 and again you are receiving a 0 means you are at that state itself. That is, you will loop at that S1 state. Okay, so both the cases for S1 is now complete. Now, let us take the case of S2. So, in S2 state, you have a 0, 1. See, you have a 0, 1 in your hand. Now, in S1 state, we have taken the case of receiving a 1. What will happen if you receive a 0? So, can you see any 0, 1, 0 in this sequence no it is a 0 1 1 1 so when you are receiving a 0 in this state that is when when you are have when you are having 0 1 again you receive a 0 means you have to 
start your sequence detection from the zero. That is, you have to jump back to your S1 state. Okay, because your sequence is having only one zero. Also, your, uh, your state diagram uh, is at the state S1 when receiving the first zero. So, in the S2 state, when you are receiving a zero, you have to jump back to your S1 state. Okay, so from there you have to start detection again. Likewise. Now, let us take the case of S3. In S3 state, you have a, I'll write it here, 0, 1, 1 you have in your hand. Now, again, if you receive a 1, then you have completed your sequence entirely. But what will happen if you receive a 0? Again, this is a case same as here. That is, if you receive a 0, means there is no 1, 1, 0 or 1, 0 in your sequence. Your sequence is 0, 1, 1. So, again you have to start from 0. So, jump back to your S1 state again. Alright. So, all these cases are completed. Now, we have to think about our S4 state. Now, we are going to uh, complete our S4 state's case. Okay. So, in S4 state, what is the sequence we are having? It is a 0, 1, 1. That is our entire sequence to be detected. We have detected once and that is the sequence we have at our S4 state. Now, if uh, in this case, when a 0 is received, where the state diagram has to jump? Think, that is, your sequence is having only one 0. Okay, that is your initial 0 or in your initial bit. So, whenever you are receiving a 0, means you have to jump back to the state when receiving your first 0 because your sequence detection has to start from that state. Okay, so, in S4 state, if you receive a 0, means you have to jump back to your S1 state because you have to start from 0, 1, 1 like that. Now, if you receive a 1, now in the S4 state, you have this much. If you receive again a 1 means, can you see any 3 1s together? Yes, there is a 3 1s together, but before that, there should be a 0. But here there are 4 1s together, right? So, your sequence has actually broke. You cannot start. So, you have to jump back to which state? In any of these states, if your sequence is broke, means you have to jump back to your initial state. That is your S0 state. Okay. So, in S4 state, if you receive a 4 1s together, means you cannot proceed further and you have to jump back to your a zero state which is your initial state. So, this is the state diagram for a sequence detector detecting 0, 1, 1 and 1 in a more type of FSM. Okay, so if your state diagram is a more type state diagram, then it will look like this. So, we have discussed all the cases with all the states that is receiving zeros and 1 in all the states. So, how you have to think is that whether your sequence has broke that is, can you uh, proceed further with the initial pattern which, uh, with, uh, which you have in each state? So, likewise, you have to think. So, for that, what you need to do is, you need to write the sequence you have at each state. See, uh, in S1, I have written a 0. That is a sequence I have at, S, at S1. And also, in S2, I have a 0, 1. And S3, I have a 0, 1, 1. So, if you write these sequences below each state, you can think easily. Otherwise, you have to, uh, you will get uh, confused. Okay. So, this is the more type of state diagram for a 0, 1, 1, 1 sequence detector. Now, let us see how the melee type sequence detector will look like. Okay. Next, we are going to design a melee type of sequence detector for detecting our 0, 1, 1, 1 sequence. Okay, so in the melee type of a sequence detector, generally we will use only n number of bits where n is the number of bits, uh, bits in your sequence. So here it is 4. So how many uh, bits we need So or how many states we need? We need 4 states. Okay, so I am going to take my initial state as S0. Okay, so in S0 state, if I receive a, that is my sequence is 0, 1, 1 and 1. Okay, so in S0 state, if I receive a 1, means I cannot start. So, I will be at my S0 state itself and my output is 0. 
So S0 is my initial state. So in the uh, melee type of FSM, we'll be writing like input bar output. There is a more type of FSM. Each state is having an output. So we write the output at each state's circuit. So that is the difference. Now, in S0 state, if you receive a 0, means you can progress further. That is receiving a 0. But again, your output is 0 because you have not received your sequence entirely. So you can move further to its state. S1 state and in I am going to complete my 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 entirely then I will complete the rest. Okay, so in S1 state I have a 0 in my hand. This is a sequence I have in S1 state and in S1 state if I receive a 1 my output is 0 but I can move further because there is a progress in my sequence. So I am going to my state S2. And in S2 state, I have a 0, 1 in my hand. Okay. Now, in S2 state, if I receive a 1, I can move to my S3 state. But my output is again 0. And in S3 state, I have 0, 1 and 1. Okay. So, in this state diagram, now there are 1, 2, 3 and 4 states. Okay. So, in a melee type of state diagram, if the sequence is having 4 bits means you can only use 4 states. So from S3 state we have to complete our rest. That is we have to again receive one more one right to complete our entire sequence detection. So in S3 you have only 0, 1 and 1. You need one more one. Okay. So let us think that if uh, again a 1 is received where the state diagram has to move. That is I'll explain. See, you have a 0, 1, 1 and 1 to be detected. In the state, that is in this state, you have 0, 1 and 1. Okay. So, if one more 1 is received, where the state diagram has to move? Can you see any state in which receiving a single 1? No, right? Here they are receiving a 0. Here it is 0, 1. Here it is 0, 1, 1. So, that is receiving a single 1 is not anywhere in the state diagram. That is, the, uh, no state is associated with that receiving of single 1 or the first 1. So, you have to jump back to your initial state when receiving a 1. But your output here is 1. Because while this one is received, you have received or you have detected your sequence entirely. I hope this step is clear. Because in this state, that is in S3 state, you have a 0, 1 and 1. See, 0, 1 and 1. Now, if there is any state receiving a single 1, means you can jump to that state. Right. But your state diagram is not having any such states in which you receive a single 1. Okay. So, your state diagram has to jump to your initial state and you have to start your sequence detection again. So in S3 state, when you receive a 1, you have to jump back to S0 state and your output is what here? Your output is a 1 here because it is 0, 1, 1 and a 1. Okay. Now, let us think of receiving uh, a 0 in the S3 state. Okay. So, here this is your sequence to be detected and in S3 state you have 0, 1 and 1 and next you are receiving a 0. Okay. So, what will happen if this 0 is received? Is that a relevant part of your sequence? 0, 1, 1, 0 is not your sequence. So, your sequence is actually broke but if you see the sequence is starting with a 0, right? So, if you receive a 0 at this state, you have to start again from the state where the first 0 is received. That is, you have to again start your sequence detection. So, so in the S3 state, if you receive a 0, means you have to start from the 0 again and you have to jump back to your S1 state because in the S1 state, you are receiving your single 0 or your first 0, which is a part of your sequence. 
So in S3 state, if you receive a 0, your output is 0 and you are jumping to S1 state. Okay, I hope it is clear. Now, now I am going to complete my left out cases. That is receiving of 0 and 1s which are left out. Take the case of S1. Okay, in S1 state, we have taken the case of receiving a 1. It will move to S2 state, right? What will happen if you receive a 0 in S1 state? S1 state it itself is actually receiving a 0. So, if you receive a 0 again, means you will loop back to your S1 state itself and your output is 0. I hope it is clear because there is no two zeros. There is only single 0. And the first one itself is a 0. Means in S1 state, if you again receive a 0, you will loop back there itself. Okay. So, both the cases of S2 is now complete. Now, in S2 state, we have taken the case of receiving a 1. We will move, move further to S3. In S2 state, we have what in our hand? I will remove these things. One minute. Okay. So, in S2, you have a 0 and 1. Okay. Again, if you receive a 0, 1, 0 is not relevant. Only this 0 is relevant. 0 and we need 1, 1 and 1. So, again, you have to start from 0, right? So, where you have to go? You have to jump to your S1 state. So, if you receive a 0, your output is 0. And from S2, you jump back to your S1 state. So, so all the states and cases are completed now. And this is the state diagram of detecting your 0, 1, 1 for the melee type of sequence detector or melee type of state diagram. This is like. Okay, so we have discussed both the cases. That is, we have discussed how to draw a more type of FSM for this sequence and the melee type of FSM for the same sequence. So, that this is the difference actually. So, if you compare, the main difference is that in the more type, there are how many states? Five states. In the melee type, how many states are there? Four states. Okay. And also, the input bar output type is a melee type of FSM. And in more type of FSM, each state is associated with the output. And in that case, that is in more type of FSM, you, you have a, another state which is S4, which is giving you an output of 1. But here, we have to take the cases when uh, the input bar output, that is, which all inputs will give you the output you have to take. Okay, so this is actually the basic difference between the two type of FSMs. But the way of thinking is actually the same. So actually the sequence detectors are very simple topic to discuss and study. But you have to, uh, you have to follow some methods to design a state diagram right, for a sequence detector. That is the main thing you have to keep in mind is that when you want to uh, detect some sequence means first, complete your positive case that is first complete your entire sequence detection first then complete the left out cases otherwise you have to think in uh, in a particular state you have to think the positive case and the negative case that is the uh, the the rest case also means you will get confused so in this case that is in uh, 0 1 1 and 1 first complete the 0 1 1 and 1 first then then uh, complete the left out cases. Okay. And also try to write the sequences you have at each state at below each uh, state uh, state circle. Okay. So for example, in S, S1 state, you have a 0. So mark a 0 here. And also in S2, you have a 0, 1. Mark a 0, 1 here. Okay. So this is how you have to uh, draw state diagrams for sequence detectors. I hope it is clear. If you found this video useful, please do like this and also share this with your friends. And for more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.